Now, once again, for the final time tonight, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're about to kick off our grand final set where Foxy Grandpa is once again going to be fighting uh, Madsen, PND Madsen, in our grand final set of the night. It'll be the last game. Madsen just had probably the the best clutch round we've ever seen in the Pro League. And we said this last time, it's and I'm insane. saying it now again, because somehow Sakura and Madsen just give us the best sets we've ever seen, and they just keep topping it every week. I would say it's annoying, but it's not. It's the best, because we get to see it week after week. It's a privilege to see that every time. And again, Madsen and Sakron, I will remind you guys and girls at home, are both confirmed for Season 3 Finals. We will see that in America, guaranteed. Offline. Ooh, I can't wait. So before we get our grand finals kicked off, let's take a look at tonight's bracket to see what the path has been. We've had eight really good players come in. Foxy Grandpa, Mr. Aquari, Stozen, Jinmanene, Sakron, Yupe, Storm, and Madzin. The grand uh, the semi-finals was Foxy versus Jinmanene, 3-0, very, very convincing win. But Sakron versus Madzin, absolutely the set of the tournament, without a shadow of a doubt. Foxy and Madzin in grand finals again, we've seen this many, many times. Uh, Madzin seems to be getting closer and closer every week. Now, before we get into grand finals, I do believe we had been asked a question, which I feel very bad that I forgot to answer it. Because <laughs> I mean, <laughs> right so we kick off. The question was against Raiden. Someone asked us on Twitter. Bear in mind, guys, you at home can take part in our conversations using the hashtag MKX Pro League, and uh, we can ask, answer questions like right now. Raiden versus either Stunt Double or what was the other pick? Cutthroat Kano. Cutthroat Kano. I, I was like, oh god, which one was it? Um, basically, I think either one will do well. I mean, Raiden, in my opinion, is not as, as, as much of a strong character as Kano or Johnny Cage. I think Stunt Double and, and Cutthroat will both have a good job enforcing plus frames. Stunt Double's got really good pressure, uh, can armor break certain things, and, you know, they both have... I mean, one thing Kano and Johnny Cage both have is good mids. Raiden does not have good mids. So, I mean, either either pick. I would basically say, if you can play both those characters and you're fighting against Raiden, go with whatever one you find more comfortable because both characters will be absolutely fine versus Raiden. Uh, they have similar tools for that matchup, I think. Um, so, it's a comfort pick. If you're comfortable with it, do it. Now, grand finals. PND PXP, a Foxy Grandpa versus PND Madsen. Now, we will be seeing Foxy Grandpa at Combo Breaker uh, this month, where he is 100% confirmed now. Problem X promotions are going to be flying him out there once again to uh, have a shot at that, uh, well, that chunky cash prize pot. But we'll be seeing him there soon. Madsen, I'm not sure if he's going. I haven't really heard anything from him on it. But regardless, they're both confirmed for Season 3 Finals. So they will have their presence known in America once again. Uh, this time next month, actually, June 10th, is going to be the finals day. Tickets are on sale, so pay attention to the NA broadcast later on for more information on where to buy your tickets for that event. It will be a live event. You guys can meet us. We can hang out. We can chat. We can all talk about Mortal Kombat because we love it. But we can watch these guys, the best players in the world, do what they do best and play for ludicrous amounts of money at a game they are amazing at. Oh, Foxy challenging on the back one too. No reaction on the telekick. Now, this is where Madsen needs Foxy to be. Now, against Foxy though, you have to play perfect and not get cornered. Unfortunately, Madsen just got cornered. Gets a nice throw tech. Now, we've seen this before. Piercing versus Grandmaster. If Madsen can corner Foxy, he can do serious damage. But Foxy is a slippery devil. He is amazing at just keeping himself out of that situation. But there we go. There's the meat but ice ball. And I really like the use of break there from Foxy, uh, because that was a really nice poke there from, from uh, Madsen. But he had to break. Oh, nice back one, just to challenge that forward four. Now, this is a tool that we see Madsen use a lot more of in this matchup, the forward four. I mean, it's a strong, advancing, relatively fast mid, and that's what you need to contest with piercing. Oh, that was a nice reaction dive kick from Foxy. Madsen tries to jump out. Foxy tries to catch him, doesn't quite get it in time. Oh, down three, Foxy's down three. just being so patient right now, staying on a good man life lead, so it's looking good. Oh, there's oh. a backdash, trying to make it go into it. Foxy doesn't react to the dive kick, and there's a nice reaction slide. Oh, Foxy had no bar to challenge the plus frames. Here comes Madsen, still alive! It's Has to be, be careful. careful. Oh, oh, no! And now I'm going to say, I'm going to call it out. Tom Brady, the legend himself, made a video about why punishing that dive kick is so tricky. And his exact, his exact example was exactly what we just saw. Madsen tried to stand up and stand in, won it for a full combo, and he got hit. That's Absolutely. It's Melina, my friend. Two seconds left on the clock, and it came down to that. What a way to kick the finals off. My word. I mean, what can you say? Like, like Brady called it in, in every sense of the word. That's exactly what he was talking about. Oh, Madsen getting tagged, though. That's strong Melina neutral. Foxy a little bit reluctant to go for the ant here. Oh, that oh. was big for Madsen. That was a nice, nice prediction with the ice ball. There's the knockdown into Clone. 
Not quite in the corner. <gasps> oh, there's the trip guard. Foxy, episode, not quite going to go for the string, though. Oh, nice. Good that hit confirm. That was a wonderful hit confirm from Madsen. Foxy forced to break, but at least back is still towards the corner. Oh, God, watch out. Yes, Foxy's going to be chucking out those back ones because he is going to try and challenge those low pokes. Uh, uh, Madsen has to be careful throwing out those bars. He needs to keep a breaker available if he can. He needs to build this as fast as possible, but not looking like he's going to have it before the end of the round. And again, has no bar, gets thrown. This is looking pretty bad for him. The problem is as well, Foxy's sitting on a bar. Uh, he can easily either reversal, he's got some chip. Oh, tries to punish, doesn't get it. Oh, hanging on, there we go! Oh, Bam! Madsen. Is, is there anyone in another wrong community with more clutch than Madsen? Is there? Currently? I, ch I challenge someone to find a player with more clutch than Madsen. There we go. Bam, there's going to go. Straight in for the corner clone. Oh, and he gets the overhead. Here we go. This is what Madsen needs. Nice 43% damage and a nice bait on the ball roll. Foxy Grandpa forced to break. Now Madsen's not going to make it easy for him. However, Foxy is going to get a lovely poke on the back one too. And now he has Madsen in the corner. But still has a life lead. Oh, low pokes. Oh, clean jump in Madsen. Is he going to take game number one? That's going to be game. If Madsen doesn't drop this, that is going to be game. There's the slide. Oh, and that is going to be it. Madsen, game one. Will this be the week Madsen defeats Foxy Grandpa in ESL? You know why Madsen's doing really well? And this was versus Sacron too. He has slowed the game down by a just so much slower pace than what we're used to seeing. He's taken it down. I mean, this isn't coming down to big, crucial, explosive plays. It's coming down to single hits, positioning. These guys are playing a game of chess right now. Every single hit on block or hit it's is all, mattering all the so good much. Stuff, all the good stuff. Execution, reads, predictions, spacing, footsies, anti-airing. Uh, just just a, a, amazing placement of everything they're doing. This is a set with two players who play each other every day and have done for 12 months. I mean, these guys are, they, they train together every single day. They are number one training partners. I mean, th that's it. And you can tell that in how these guys are playing these matches. Madsen, one game up. Nice use to meter burn clone. He's having to almost constantly go for meter burn clone though, just so Foxy doesn't punish it. But did get the first hit. Oh, clean punish though. First time we've seen the back two get punished. And that right there is why we see Madsen opt to go for the back three a little bit more so far in the set because the back two is punishable by back one two, so you have to be careful. That is a free 35% should Foxy now, time it right. This is the instant adjustment Foxy's making, playing a bit more of a space control game. You can, in fact, zone out Grandmaster. Oh, gets a throw. Madsen doesn't take it. Yeah, Foxy's not going to go in. He's going to make it very tricky for Madsen to win this round. Nice, a nice reaction dive kick. Foxy ready for it. Madsen knows blocks guaranteed death right now, so he lets himself get hit. Doesn't let Foxy build any more meter. Now he just needs to get the break out of Foxy as fast as possible and then get his hit. Gets a nice slide, gets knocked down. Doesn't isn't really able to do much with it. Nice use of the whiff dash. Just I mean that's one thing Sub Zeros do do. They whiff their dash to go straight in uh, and kind of recover instantly. You know, just that quick mobility. Nice reactions once again. It's nice down four. Doesn't enforce it. Oh, almost goes straight into the clone. Back to back, back one. Madsen has a lot of bar to work with right now, but can't throw it away on a breaker. These individual hits, I mean, this is what this match is coming down to. Nice reactions once again. Now you can tell Madsen's trying to space himself, so she dive kicks into the clone, not him. But unfortunately, he's not quite getting it. Ooh, tries to catch it. Wow, Foxy presses buttons, hasn't got a breaker. This could be bad for him. He's the knockdown before he breaks. Oh, nice use of the environment interaction. That's going to do it. Just that double hit of armor. You're so, I mean, as a sub player, you're probably used to armor breaking, right? That's one of the reasons you go for the clone in the corner. Armor breaking certain reversals. I think Foxy was wise to that, using the environment interaction just to use the Two extra hits of, hits of armor. armor. I mean, yeah. that really smart play, situational awareness. Knowing when the interactions are there, I mean, good. Good play. Can't knock it. Good game one. 1-1 one. Uh, one, one even. Yeah, that's going to be 1-1. One, one. Game number two has just concluded going into game number three. Now, the thing is, many, many players, I think, would have... Uh, kind of just gone to a different character. Now, Madden has been absolutely grinding this matchup to the to the absolute fullest. Like, he has... He's always thought that... Grand, although some people say this is a horrendous matchup for Grandmaster, and even even Whiff said that that doesn't seem very good. I think he's been grinding so much that this matchup well, is even, starting even to Madden, seem... Madden himself has said that a, a few times in the past. Well, I, Madden, I know he's, Madden, he's had differing opinions, but as of late, I know he hasn't really been feeling this matchup. I know that at this point, Madden 
I, as far as I'm aware, believe that this matchup is a 6-4, which basically means that Melina has the slight advantage. And it's not because of her tools, it's because that she has a small hitbox, which makes it very tricky to hit her in some situations. Grandmaster doesn't really like fighting small hitbox characters, and Melina is a very, very effective one of those. So, I mean, the fact that he's been grinding enough, you can see the, the fruits of, of his labor, basically. Like, slowing it down and just playing it just by small play after small play. Oh, wow. Oh, Meteor Burns the throw. That, that couldn't have been what he wanted. Yeah, that, Even though he got the throw, not worth it for the bar. That must have been an accident. Good use to telekick Madsen. Straight up unable to go for those. Yep, that's a full punish. Nice. Oh, but now slide Madsen didn't even have a bar to break there. I think that slide was because Madsen read the forward dash. Foxy does like going for forward dashes after breaking. Now, Foxy's kind of playing a little bit more of a spacing game. What we're seeing in comparison to the other, the, the game number one. What? The, the down four, down four clone? Is what? that what we saw? What was that? <laughs> oh, tries to meet on the clone, but doesn't get it in time. Wow, that was good trade. Risky, but good. Now, oh. now that's a problem. Because not only did Foxy just take the round, he got out of the corner first before he did it. So here we go, round number two. Oh, good freeze. I think Madsen's going to be a little bit more eager to do an ice ball closer. Where it's a little bit risky of Foxy to go for that. Oh, risky overhead, he's going to get it. Wake up, back one. Foxy knows he's scouting nice reactions on the telekick. Oh, Foxy's got a bar now, has to watch out for these 50-50s on block. That was another there we nice go read again. from Foxy. But an even nicer read from Madden. There's the knockdown. Close to the corner. Not quite though. And there's the telekick again. Madden has to stop going for that. And you can tell he, he's trying to make a kick into the clone, but it's just not working. And again, I mean, both both corners have a way out against Grandmaster. This stage is not what Grandmaster needs. Yeah, it's definitely not Grandmaster friendly. Foxy's buffering. You can see he's buffering that telekick. That's going to be an anti air. Could even be the game. Yep, not quite, not... Oh, that's no, it. wow, it is! Let's not forget the big chunk of damage the final hit does. Now, the adjustment that's been made here on the fly... Space control. Not making it so easy for Madden to kind of get within that magical range. Now, it's, he's, he's kind of... Foxy's taking a step back, he's sitting slightly further away. He's making it trickier for Madden to go in and apply any sort of pressure because the size and the back one together are keeping him at arm's reach. But the adjustment that Madden's trying to make is getting those ice ball trade reads. Now, the problem is... Although he's getting mileage out of the freeze, he's getting telekicked a lot more than he's not getting telekicked. Yeah, and every telekick skip making him block something, which is building her bar. Uh, if she's got meter, he's taking the 50-50. If he blocks the forward one, like, it's not going in his favor. Like, again, like we said before, I understand he's trying to make the telekick hit the clone, but it's not working. I spoke to both these guys about the matchup, and it's like they agree that mid-screen... Um, Mid screen, Melina basically has really good options for um, sort of catching, catching you with the clone and, and the ice ball and stuff. But corner wise, Melina hasn't really got good tools to get out of the corner. So we want what could potentially be the last match of the night. Ooh. Foxy Grandpa uses his first bar on a, on a complete waste of telekick, unfortunately. Does it uh, preemptively instead of on reaction? Foxy is doing a phenomenal job of staying out of the corner though. Nice whiff there. Gonna catch it on the back one too. Ooh, could have punished the ice ball. There we oh, go. Wow. And there's that forward two. Foxy spacing really well right now. He does that to catch down fours consistently. It works for him, 35%. Madsen returns with the slide. Goes straight into the ice ball. I mean, I understand it. Goes to the back two or the back three, but Foxy blocks it well. Punishes the ice ball and takes himself into the tournament point. Again, could be your week six champion in a matter of seconds. Oh no, and it's looking bad. Catches the hit confirmed. Madsen has to save the bar though. Oh, the jump in whiffs. Oh, but Madsen, good patience. Foxy trying to catch him, pressing the button to go in to punish it anyway. That and Madsen was, isn't going to bite. In game one, Madsen did punish some very risky stuff that Foxy went for. And in game and these other games, but right now, oh, hang on a minute. I wonder what that was. Do you reckon he could have got anything else off that? Was he too low to the ground? I think Mads Madsen was concerned that the, the, the four in two, four, two was going to miss completely. So you think he obviously went to go for the, the plus on hit frames of the down three. Foxy playing a little bit anti. This is the side that we... we in game two and three, Foxy's taking no risks whatsoever. In this round, he's taking risks. Sub-Zero can punish those risks massively. Ouch, just like that. Madsen has him in the corner. That was a nice combo. Madsen one round off from tying things up, but Foxy's still on match points, so he's got to be careful. Can't let him use the interaction to get out of the corner. He goes for it, and there we go. That's what we need to see Madsen do. Oh, again, the small hitbox doesn't get the refreeze. 
He is still going to have the clone in the corner, though. But, I mean, yeah, that corner uh, that corner combo dropping is very unfortunate. Oh, gets it. Oh, that was good for him. Gets the breaker out. Oh, oh. no, the straight up forward two. Again, I think that was kind of a return. He thought Madsen was going was gonna to dash in and go to the forward two himself. Nice grab. Looking bleak for Madsen. Oh, oh there's the anti-cross up. Oh, there you go. Just like that. It was looking good, um, but unfortunately, that one combo drop, uh, I believe it actually was because of Molina's hitbox. Uh, and that's going to be a pit fatality. That is pit fatality. It just looks suspiciously like a form of disrespect. I blame Derek for that. <laughs> why do we always have to blame Derek? I bet it was his idea. Is it because he's a designer? Hey, guys, make it, why don't we make her pit fatality look like a teabag? Down, 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 button press. Brilliant. I mean, it, it looks like one. So if that was if that was the mission, mission accomplished. It does look indeed. It does indeed. So Foxy is going to take another week. I mean, it was looking good for Madden. It was just that one corner combo that dropped. Um, I mean, I don't know whether it was just because Madden dropped it. I don't know whether it was because Melina has a small hitbox. Hence, why Madden thinks that the matchup is slightly in Melina's favor because her small hitbox makes the general damage game weaker because you have to go for different conversions and more inconsistent. Small hitbox characters are inconsistent to hit for reasons that we saw just there. Well, I mean, it sucks for Madsen, but what an incredible uh, showing he made this week. Really strong game one against Storm. Uh, I haven't haven't got to remind you guys at home. I mean, his set against Sacron looking amazing. We'll have a look at the bracket again today uh, before we sign off to just have a look at how today went. Foxy Grandpa, 3-1, 3-0, 3-1. Um, not quite the usual 3-0 sweeps we usually see from him. And, and again, Madsen doing a good job of consistently at least taking games off him in the final. So Madsen is having a strong showing. Sacron had a really good showing. 3-2 Madsen, 3-0 uh, again. Against Yupe, uh, Stosun 3 0 against Jinimu Nene, who moved forward to the semi. So, all in all, good week. The players with not as many points managing to do well for themselves to get themselves a bit more. Foxy, Sacron, and Madsen doing a good job of just further cementing their lead in the league. Now, I want to know if Twitter has anything to say about what's happened by the end of the night. What's going on? Well, I actually think uh, Madsen and Sacron kind of killed Twitter. I've got hardly anything after that everyone's still reeling from it i think but um another tweet from mitsuo's here saying it will be really tough for na to top these sets tonight i think uh, i agree with that there definitely and akbar has tweeted us saying i've become a big fan of the mkx pro league so so glad to finally catch it live especially enjoy the commentary and foxy's melina well i hope you haven't been disappointed there tonight we also do have a winning statement from foxy he said don't forget your daily dose of vitamin b12 so, uh, MKX memes. Indeed. So, also remember, guys, that uh, if you want to be within one final chance of winning this week's MKX Pro Player Kit, you can go to esl.gg forward slash MKX to register there. And if you want to keep up with the few remaining weeks of the league and, of course, the grand finals, you can follow us at ESL Mortal Kombat on Twitter. I've been Sassanak. Thank you for having me tonight. Cool. So I do believe that's going to wrap up another Pro League week. Another week, Dan and Dusted. Foxy Grandpa Two more to go. On. Two left. Two left. The critical point has finally been reached. You could say that. Yeah. Some of you guys might. Good reference right there. Well, anyway. Either way, two it, weeks to go. Two, two weeks to go. <laughs> uh, go to proleague.com forward slash MKX to find out how you two can sign up for these last two weeks. We have, like I said before, two left 